Hi, this is James from Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today we're going to look at the one to four player, yes, it has a solo mode, Downtown Chase, published by Prince of Games. Now, something to keep in mind is this is a prototype for the Kickstarter. So, the art's not finalized, the components aren't finalized, and the rules aren't finalized. So, stuff is subject to change. So, keep in mind that this is the prototype. So, in Downtown Chase, you're going to play as, I guess, gangsters, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to try to take out John the Quick. Now, it's a race to do so, and the first player to take him out wins the game. If no one can and he gets away, the person with the most points will win the game. So let's go ahead down to the table here. I'll give you a general overview of how to play the game, and then we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so this is what an initial setup of Downtown Chase might look like. And again, this is the prototype of the game. So none of these components are finalized, and some of the rules could be subject to change. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go over a general idea on how to play the game. So in Downtown Chase, what you're trying to do is you're trying to eliminate John the Quick, and we're going to call him JTQ. Now, these miniatures here are just 3D printed miniatures. They're not the finalized miniatures in the game, but they just give you... So just keep that in mind when we're playing. But you're trying to eliminate him before the end of the 12th round here. The end of the 12th round, uh, no one kills him, and the person with the most points wins. And you can get points from attacking uh, JTQ or other players. Now to start the game, everyone's going to get one card from each of the deck, the weapon, interaction, and location deck. And what you're going to do is this gives you a picture of the map. So in, in essence, this is a set collection style game. What you're trying to do throughout the game is you're trying to get a location that matches the location that uh, JTQ is going to be in or get him into that location. And you're, you need to be in the same colors, like see red colors here, that he's in. And that location, you have to have that location and you have to have its weapon. So in this case, I'm going to need to have a grenade. And just to go over a couple things how the game plays out, you're going to start at the, each turn by doing a couple different things. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do on your turn is you're going to move JTQ. But before the game starts, you're going to randomly select one of these. So let's say we're going to use this route, and we're going to put the rest of these in the box, so they're not used for the rest of the game. Now, this route here is going to be the first, is going to be the route that JTQ takes for three turns. Now, he can be, well actually technically, he you can't affect hit this route at all for two turns. And on the third turn you can. There's cards in this deck, mainly these interaction cards that can interact with him and make him change his route. But what you're going to do is, for the first two turns, you're going to roll one of these dice. So he's going to follow this exact route and move one spot. All right, oops. So then on my turn, I'm going to draw up to four cards. Now I, I have one of each of these. I can pick which deck that I want to draw from. So I may be saying, hey, I wanna to try to do this. So I'm gonna keep drawing from the weapon deck here. So we draw up to four cards. And then the next thing we can do is we could play any of the cards that we want. So I can play this card, which cancels the effect of, of cards. So no Metro, no Spy, no Movement. So I really don't have anything to play currently. So the next thing I'm going to do is I could use the Metro. Well, I'm sorry. The next thing I can do is actually move. And each of these characters have different movement. And one thing I didn't show is like you saw Shady Jim he has a special ability. But in the game, they came with more of them. But this, the prototype comes with four different characters that you can play and all have different movement. 
So uh, now I can move up to the movement and I picked Shady Jim. So Shady Jim has five movement. He also has this special ability. If the agility score is a tie, he turns it into favor one time during a duel. So agility, which we'll go over in a second in duels and stuff, is going to be the determining factor for how much damage is dealt. But anyway, so on my turn, I can move up to five spaces. Now I may want to try to move towards this location or in future turns I may want to actually, um, I may actually want to try a different location, but we're going to try close, moving closer to JDQ. One, two, three, four, five. So I move up five spaces. I could use the Metro. Some interaction cards are Metro cards. I want in here. <clears throat> so Metro Yellow, I can use those routes. So I can use the Metro to move a little faster if I have those cards. The other thing I could do is I can enter or exit a location. So in order for me to deal damage in this area with uh, Actually, I was looking at the wrong spot for my card. I need to actually be here. I can move one less. You don't have to move all those spaces. I could enter this location. And if I enter that location and JTQ happens to be in this area right here, I can, and I had this grenade, I could use the grenade. Now let's find the grenade real quick. Grenade. That's a remote detonator. That one's fun. Or a grenade. Okay. So let's say that actually happened. He is actually in the same location as me. I can then fight JDQ. Actually, I could just try to assassinate him because the game name of the game is assassination. So I take a look at the card and it has this little symbol right here. So it has this pattern. Uh, this is again a prototype. So this will look different when you get done. I get the I get the one that matches and I put that here. I pick another player and that player is going to play the bodyguards. And what they're going to do is on my turn, I'm going to roll and I can move this four spaces. And what I'm trying to do is get it in this area here so that I can get a successful shot on them. Now I got four attempts to do that. This is my first. The opponent tries to move the bodyguard. Whoops. So, one, two, in to block me. So I'll try again. And I roll. And that's pretty good. So I'll go one, two, three, four. And I can keep going. The, the opponent goes. He tries to block me. One, two. And we keep going. Once. I'm satisfied up to four turns where I'm at, and let's say I get up to here, I can then try to shoot him. And when I try to shoot him, I look at the pattern on here and see if I get any pluses on there to my roll, to my um, a attempt. And then I'm going to roll a die. I'm going to play any modifiers I want, or any cards to modify my weapon's attack value. So my weapon's attack value was a three and I rolled a three. I can roll modifiers. I add that all up. I look on a chart and to calculate the final attack value and I do that much damage to um, JTQ. And if I kill him, I win the game immediately. If not, he's just wounded. So you're trying to do that. You could also fight another player and you can get points doing that. So if you end up going through a player's area, so we're in the same colors here, we can duel with a duel. Now, one thing with a duel to, to remember is that uh, players can decide to, when you're passing through to let a player pass through, but if you end there, you will be fighting. So duelists uh, can play any number of different duel cards, which can be in this interaction deck to help affect the duel overall. But 
you're when gonna... you're attacking, you're, you're gonna roll these two dice. So you're gonna roll the two dice. Uh, both people are gonna roll them, you're gonna take the values. And you're going to look at your uh, agility result. So if I got, you're gonna look at a chart, I got a 10, so it's gonna be a two. And you're gonna compare your results and you're gonna deal damage. If the attacking player wins, the punch has been made, the defending player health is reduced by the attacking player's punch, and the defending player's stamina, which is going to be right here, is reduced by one also. If both players tie, the health and stamina is, both, is reduced by one on both players. The defending player now becomes the attacking player. So one player is going to attack, one player is going to defend. You're going to keep going until someone goes down to no health. Uh, that person's knocked out. Uh, the person that did the knockout blow gets points, gets more points, and the person who got knocked out also gets some points because they did a duel. And like I said, if you can't kill JTQ by the end of the 12th round, these point tracks on the end here is going to matter. So basically, you're going to continue doing this throughout the game. You're going to be moving through the game. You're going to be trying to get the right cards in your hands to um, match up with a location. And you're going to try to get JTQ in there. Now, one thing I didn't mention at the end of the third round, what's going to end up happening is you're going to roll a die and you're going to roll this direction die. So let's say we'll put these players off to the side here. So let's say JTQ's here. What you're going to do is you're going to roll your die. He's going to move and you're going to roll this die. So he's going to go left. So he's going to go one, two, one, because he's going left. Then he's at an intersection. So you roll it again. And he's going to go left. So two. That's how he's going to move from now on. He only follows that initial route for the first couple rounds of the game. After that, he's on his own any sort of random movement. There's other cool things in the game, like you could put up these rule roadblocks that prevent people from going through this area. So we're including JTQ, so you can try to quarantine them off to match the stuff you have. You can, like I said, you can knock out other players, which is not, you just get the points. Um, and they're not out of the game or anything. They can keep on going. So that's basically a very short overview of how to play Downtown Chase. Let's go ahead back up to the table here and I'll give you my final thoughts on this game. Okay, so Downtown Chase. Now Downtown Chase, I'll start off with saying for the solo mode, I didn't care too much about it because it was way too random for solo mode. You could get in situations where it's near impossible for you to be, take out uh, John the Quick. Uh, you, it just, for the solo mode, I wasn't too crazy about it. But again, this is the prototype. It, the solo mode did have a lot of potential. So they might change things up. So keep that in mind. For multiplayer, I think this is a really good party game. And the reason I say that is because there's a lot of randomness in this game. It in, it's hard as a set collection game, so you're trying to get your sets, trying to line up JTQ in the area to take him out. And you're also trying to thwart your opponents from doing the same. So there's a lot of take that, and there's a lot of randomness. So what I would say is if you're looking for just a, a social game, so you can, you're gonna play this game for fun, you're not going to take it too seriously because it's not going to be a straight up strategy game in any way because of the amount of randomness in it. And you're just going to have fun. So if that's what you're looking for, this is a game you want to check out. It's going to have really nice, this is, a, if any, the prototype's any indication of the final product, where they're going with it, I think it's going to have a really nice production value in the end. I like the ideas of the game and I like how they really went with a theme throughout the game. So again, you'd also have to like the theme too. So keep that in mind. If you're looking for like a pure strategy game, this is not it. If you're just looking for a fun game to play with friends at the end of the night, uh, that's just fun, a little silly in there, 
this again might be the game you're looking for but that's my thoughts on downtown chase thank you for watching <laughs>